Heck yeah. I just ask God to make sure I got my vapes. I heard that. Dear Lord. <laughs> Oh, I Lord, don't vapes. let me go without my vapes. Please. Please. You do anything for me today. <laughs> Please, Lord. Fill my vapor pen. <laughs> hey. Podcast, everybody. Hello, yeah. world. I this is IATQ. Welcome to the show. I'm Bryce Brizzle McKnight. This is I'll Ask the Questions, the show that conquers it all, and it's the best damn co- podcast in the history of podcasting e- ever. Uh, let's go around the room see who our experts are this week on the Who question. This week we have my brother Red Dog, Justin Red Dog McKnight, aka Troll Goblin. What's up, dude? What are you wearing today? I'm wearing a 1984 original Miami Orange Bowl Bernie Kosar jersey. That's pretty cool, dude. Bernie. Bernie. Yeah. Dude, those were the days, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. Those uh, were the days. We can dude. talk about that yeah. later if you Forever. want. Uh, next to you, we got Kevin C. Dog Wilcox on the What oh. Question, I believe, this week. I am the What Guy. You're the What Guy. Yeah. Wait, hey, welcome to the show, Kevin. Yeah. What's up, dude? Glad to be back. It's great to have Glad you. Glad to see everybody. As always, look forward to your awesome. stellar answer. Last week was a doozy. Yeah. Across from you, we have RMFJ on the where question. What's happening, audience? All right. What's How is up, everybody? RMFJ? Good to see you. So who did the uh, 84 Orange Bowl? Is that I'll my, ask the question. Miami, Oklahoma? Oklahoma. It yeah, was. I think it was Miami, yeah. Oklahoma. And they spanked yeah, you guys. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I think you guys uh, beat us. Uh, yeah. Jamel Holloway, I believe. Yes, or sir. Charles Thompson, one of the two. Sure. Next to Sorry. RMFJ, <laughs> yeah. we have... Featuring and debuting none other than Mary Jane, the babe, Paul. What's up, Mary Jane Paul, the babe? What's going on? Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank yes. you. Thank you for having me. You guys are in for a treat. I mean, you're definitely going to watch the whole show, right, everybody? We've talked about yeah, this, this audience. We've, we, we're going to watch the whole thing this time. All right. So we're going to we're gonna start our show off with the beef round, of course. I'll start our beef round with that show, The Curse of Oak Island. I gotta fuck. Okay. I gotta All beef right. with those guys. Just fucking strip mine the fucking island already and be done with it. Yeah. We got a core drill here. This is A1257. And we're gonna go down there and see if there's any gold, eh? And there's gold in this water, eh? And over here we got a plank, it's a board, and and they spend probably millions of dollars, you know, these little core drills nonstop. And the guy who finds the coolest shit's got like a two hundred dollar metal detector. And he finds like the rings, the coins and everything. And I like he reminds me like oh, this is the RMFJ you know he's like I'll go out there and find some shit he finds everything man I saw some guy get uh, the, uh, they hired a diver to go deep yeah. into this little hole this yeah. is this mud pit like a hundred feet down he didn't find anything but yeah of course that diver was this show like keep you on. twenty years old now how many seasons have they done I don't know I've watched almost yeah, it's all like of them like finding Bigfoot yeah if yeah you, if and, you if you Google it they never find anything oh uh, Raj uh, what'd you tell me that for oh, I'm sorry uh, bro oh well the more yeah. I look at him the more he looks like Jack oh Nicholson. it's Jack all the way man. Oh my God. You know he it. really has to get, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I've never said that before, T. No, 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 no. No, I've, I've, I've got it a lot, actually. Yeah. Okay. I like it. You, you, should, see, you so. should see my dad. Really? Oh, <laughs> spot Spitting on. Spitting him and Yeah. Huh? Anyways, oh, they find just enough to keep me interested, but I'm, now that I yeah, know, yeah. maybe I'm done. They I want to see how it ends now, but anyways. Oh. Well, we'll move on to Red Dog's beef. What's your beef, Red Dog? Privileged children. Ooh. Like yourself? That is correct. That is actually what I wrote. Oh. I was one for a very brief time, maybe currently still. Um, my daughter is very privileged child, being an only child. My mm. wife is a privileged child, being an only child. And uh, yeah, I just think privileged children are, you know, the, the spoon in the a silver spoon in the mouth, if you will, born into just not having to do shit. Like yourself? No. Okay. <laughs> but they, but they're, they're one of them too. Okay. Trust fund babies. You're ruining your child yeah. by spoiling her, letting yeah. her do everything. Yeah. My okay. dad did yeah. the same to me. All right. Yeah. Privilege starts with you hate yourself. I'm not, yeah. I'm I sorry. Yeah. I think it's more empowering than privileged. Empowering. Yeah. You know? yeah. Depends. It's, 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 it's the kid. That kind that, of the, what angle are you looking at? Yeah. Well, I, you know, you want to give your kids everything, but if they're 30 and still not working and you're supporting mm-hmm. them and paying their cell phone bill, you, and you screwed up 15 rent. years yeah, ago. Yeah. You should, right. yeah. Yep. Yeah, kick them out. Somewhere. What you do is like when your kids are like twelve, thirteen, <clears throat> put them out on the street somewhere in a city and just leave them there. Go yep. home with a sign. Yeah. If if they like come back, they find okay, they'll figure that they'll be okay. Yeah. They'll figure their way out through life. And if yeah. they don't, well, you're just better off. Just well, cut you, but ties you also now. have to empower them. <laughs> yeah. You have to give them the confidence 
to go do something yes, like that. Absolutely. Like, hey, you yeah. can go kick ass yeah. out there. Yeah. It's okay if I leave you out at 12. Yeah. Go kick ass. Yeah, I, remember, I did that to my son. Did you? I love that. I made him come home from school. Mm -hmm. And I said, take everything off that I bought you. I want everything. Now you know. <laughs> and I was like, you need to call a ride to find someone. You got to figure this out. You got to figure it out since you think you got it all. He passed the mm -hmm. test. Hell no. He did not. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. He, he, he was like, he, he was said, only three. He left three years old. He, he, he was left, only three. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, said, he uh, left the house with a sock on. No. <laughs> no. no. He I mean, I everything. This. I even look. I even, I took everything from the wallet. To, wow. I said, give me a birth certificate, identification, everything. Wow. Uh, and I mean, he was like, person. he said, <clears throat> he has a sister, Aaron, soon sponsor Nike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, um, how, how, he, he was 13? Oh, that's a question. He was like 16. He was 16. Oh, oh 16. All right. So, I so said, he should have um, known. All right. right. I can do right? this. Yeah. Did it all by myself. So I said, um, I said, the cell phone too. I bought oh. that. Mm. He said, I bought the case. I said, well, take it off. <laughs> well, you can have the case. <laughs> take that motherfucker with you. See how far he gets you. Uh, well, you can put it over so your he, penis as like you walk down the street because those are my underwear right? too. <laughs> said, hey, you're going to, uh, he's trying to use the phone. So Aaron, she was like, I said, I wish you would. You'd be right the fuck behind him. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Lessons so. were learned get, that day. Y'all get everything y'all want. It's a want. different vibe. I'm telling you, this is Get everything you want. Here. This that's, is single black intense. woman shit and right this here. this is what I get. Fuck this. I like it. Uh, okay. Wow. All right. Very, wow. very good. I'm, I'm a little scared And now. how far I'm did it go? scared, too. It's a good thing you're sitting Did he, that. like, yeah. start bawling, crying? Man, I still have footages. Yeah. Because I cameras in my home and... uh. Well, maybe we he didn't can make it to the front door. Yeah, let's not show. talk about because yeah. this could be embarrassing. Because if right. anybody right. really ever watches yeah. the show, no, yeah. that, that's don't think just because you know what you say you want, I go out and get it and all of that. I still teach your ass. Hey, let me show you how I had to get it. Yeah, not not selling know. nothing, okay. but working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Working. let's move yeah. on to. I uh, love that. Let's move to Kevin's beef. Kevin, what's your beef? Movie reboots. Okay. Oh I might be on board with this. I am so oh. sick and tired of... Now, I'm not talking about sequels. I'm talking about, like, Point Charlie Break. in the Chocolate Factory. Yes. Leave that alone. Which was a ridiculous movie. I, yeah, I yeah. don't think he Willy that Wonka Willy Wonka was awesome. Gene oh, Wilder yeah, the first was one perfect. was great. Yeah. Conan the Barbarian with Jason Momoa. Mm. I love the guy, but it was a horrible, they horrible movie. They redid that? Didn't, didn't even know they yep. did it. Yep, they redid oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's part. And now <clears throat> they're rebooting probably one of the greatest guy pictures ever, mm -hmm. Roadhouse. Oh, I saw oh, yeah. that. Well, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. he's in it. Yeah. I want to see it because I love him. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm, so but I'm Roger. sitting there like. Roger does too. But it's going no, straight to <laughs> streaming. It's not going to a theater. Yeah, it's yeah, going it's to Prime. Prime yeah. Oh, is but it, I, I saw the preview. I couldn't remember what it was. And Conor Conor McGregor's, McGregor's in it. It looks pretty yeah. good. But uh, wasn't um, now, forgive me, because this movie is old, but the original Row House, was that Patrick about dancing? See, see, it was with Patrick Swayze. I'll ask some questions. That. It was about a roadhouse and everybody fought. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. This is set in the Florida Keys. Yeah, Key West. Yeah. I think you were thinking of Dirty I think they're even using a lot of the same no, lines from that. the movie. Yeah. Because yeah. they yeah, can't yeah. change it around because yeah. they're going to screw it up badly. So. Like they redid Karate Kid. Leave it alone. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. great. Oh, yeah. That, with, now, it was a chick. With, like, no, well, they did the no, chick no, no. redo. That's, yeah, it was like, that's what? That's not a redo. But they that did Jaden Smith. But Jaden Smith uh, yeah. was a with Jackie Chan. Well, Leave hold that on. Like, I, like, it I like that movie now. No, 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 no. It could have been a different movie. You're not allowed to. Karate Kid is good enough. Right. Roger, what's your beef? They have their horrible TV series. Uh, that's yeah. good. It's not the horrible. Netflix one. My, yes. Cobra Kai. No, no, no. Cobra Kai. Yeah, that's good. I got, I got into the first just because it was Ralph Macchio. You know, like, oh, dude My looks fucking insane, really man. Yeah. Yeah. All I need to do is put the shower curtain on and but you're yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, but I had to ask like him it. like when I, when I watched him watch these reboots and I'd be like, oh god, what do they do? Oh my goodness, I understand they just make stuff for this generation. That, that would right. be like if they tried to reboot Blazing Saddles. They you couldn't do that. No, today. you can't do that you can't movie do it today. today. Yeah, no, no way. So. It's too racist. <laughs> They'd have to too. screw it up. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> the fortiloquist. Yeah, yeah right. saddles. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yes, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Good job, uh, Fernando. That would be it. So, yeah, but, that's my beef. But you All know, right, thanks, uh, Kev. The Fly was a reboot with Jeff Goldblum. That The Fly is an old movie from like the Gone in sixty seconds was too. <clears throat> yes, and when it came yes, out, I loved it. Yeah, and then yeah. I recently watched it again, and I'm like, this is the corniest, cheesiest shit. Yeah, I know the old. That's how it is when you get older. Did you see the original? No, I want to see the original. Yeah, original not was oh, the, good. yeah, the original's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, reboots. Not Roy Schreider, no. I think. Changing something. Redoing 
the movie. Booting it. Yes. But you ever thought about like now that we're older? I'll ask the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you'll get you'll you'll get the catch on it. <laughs> Roger, what's your beef? I, I My beef. On. Oh, my beast about money and not uh-huh. you not always, having enough. Of yes, it? not mm. having enough, and you never have enough. You know, right? Because mm. you're always gonna want something, and we gotta you're find enough to buy a Harrier jump jet so our lucky yeah. fan who gets a million points. Well, gets recently it, so. Bryce Good turned point. me on to his MetaQuest Three, yeah. yeah, which is a addictive, Dangerous. fantastic device that is. Uh, it's dangerous. It's very cool. If it's you, virtual if you, reality. Yeah, video if you've never gaming. done it, you got to do oh, it. It's a game. It's so, uh, all in all, you, to to do it right, I need to go in like a grand, right? Yes, you do. Ooh. I'm married, and the wife. This is a relationship of course, killer. Of course, doesn't hey, understand. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, she's a thousand. Di- we I'm could, getting close. We could, I think we could paint the bedroom and get a new window for a thousand. Right. Don't, don't 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 do Renee like that. I know. I'm getting close. She doesn't watch the show. But so. it looks at me like death glare. She's like, you know, it's like they, the like they were kind game. of like they hate us when we play video games, right? Yeah. Like they'll tolerate yeah. it. Like he'll be done in an hour or two, and then yeah. we'll deal with yeah. it. But this, it's like you You're don't know what even. reality is anymore. Hours and you, she by. has zero contact. Yep. Like she can't yeah. even say, "Hey, do this, that, the yeah. other," because you won't even hear her yeah. and because you're playing. Back. And that is like they hate that. They okay, wait, wait, it is very wait. annoying. This is See? my beef. See, this okay. is my okay. Beef. Yeah. Nice. Right. So when I say money, it's not about it, even if I had a hundred thousand dollars, she would still we need a bitch about we need more. Yeah, yeah. So we need this and this yeah. and this. But you know the. We, <laughs> My air conditioner in my house took a shit again, ah. so I got to call that guy out. It's probably going to be a whole new system. I got to put like two grand in my Great. truck. It's an OVR. It's always, I know. It's so always it's something. always something. Roger, I apologize for showing that to I you. Used, and I, I, I warned you. You told me. You did. You said, I shouldn't do this. Like you, my first hit of crack. Shouldn't exactly. have done it. <laughs> it's like I've showed you the light. Wait a minute now. Whoops. Uh, all right now. All but right. have you ever done this virtual reality quest thing? I'll ask questions. Have you done it? Not Bryce's, but I did the Oculus. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so you, get the idea. You, you had a taste of it. It is. It will wear you out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, get, I wouldn't I get leave tired. the house. You, do you no, no, work no, no, no. You, you, you actually can. Yeah. But I, when you do it, you got to make sure you move. That's what I'm saying. All we, of the furniture. We, we played tennis. Yeah. And if you had an actual tennis court, you could you could literally play tennis. You, right. and, and, and it's like they tennis. want you. It's, and it's like a mind thing because they want you to stand still. But how can you stand still when you feel like you're? Oh no, you can move around in it. That's why we need our warehouse. We want to open a warehouse. I'm okay, sure somebody's yeah, going to okay, take okay, this. Right. I think somebody does it at the. Do they have it? I think they have a, a place warehouse already. with rooms already padded. No, I get and, and you can rent them out. Oh, you just here's a hundred dollars. You get four hours worth of VR. Yeah, yeah. Dominique. What's That's really name? a great Mary idea. Mary Jane, the babe, Paul. What is your beef? Damn. How long is this show? When that sand runs out, we're done. <laughs> so you, <laughs> got, you got plenty of time. Yeah, you got time. But you also have to share the time. What, what gets under your, your skin? Beef? Come on, let's What gets under my skin? Just society All today. Right. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Such as? It's like. I just be wanting to say, y'all some dumb motherfuckers. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's, it's just society today. Get, mm. I think we've had people, a, people uh, in general. Yeah. I think that was I'll, one of the questions is, uh, what would we do without all the idiots yes, in the world? In I don't know. Because I, I think here, I come to the conclusion where like, I don't, I'm, I think I don't like people. Oh. Ah, welcome to our show. Yes. Re- Renee yes. is yes. definitely going to watch this. And I, go, yeah. I just. We love all our audience members. Just, you people are cool. Everybody else sucks. Not <laughs> just guys. think yeah. like. Yeah. I get in my mom. I'm like, I really don't like fucking people. People can <laughs> get, get under your skin. Yeah, yeah it, it just be little dumb shit. Yeah. It just and I just be like, really, like traffic for mostly. One, oh yeah, oh yeah. Tra- we got traffic grocery is horrible. store line cloggers. We don't yeah. like them. I'm just like, like I could walk into a store, and I could just see the cashier, and I just be like. She's gonna irritate the you. shit. She's gonna irritate the shit. Out of me. <laughs> this is not gonna go. She's well. gonna go up uh, because her. first of all, the person in front of me, she's gonna go above and beyond for this motherfucking person. And they need a tutorial on how to put a dress on because they've yeah. never done it. And before. I'm just like, oh my god. And it's this. 
All right, people in general. Uh, we'll, we'll log that down. I got yes. that. Dominique, Society. welcome to the show, Dom. I'm going to give yeah. you 50 points nice. for your beef. 50 to Dom. Right. Good tell you, it just be a little dumb shit. Start off with Why the, the fuck is this light so long? I'm like, how it's good to sitting have you. here. The Mary J thing, Jane thing, for, or J thing from Mary J. Blige? No, I'm her name is Mary, Mary Jane Paul. Okay, I'm getting the Mary J. Blige or no, something. No, no, no. No, we're, no. Bro, we're both black. No. But no. <laughs> here we go. We got that in common. Both black. I was thinking both pretty. Well, thank you. Yeah. She is That's very, nice. But there uh, goes Justin's marriage. Here, way different tax bracket. I'm kidding, dude. <laughs> married. It's a joke show. I know. And now it's time for... Wait, this, is, this is a joke show? Our Man on the Street yeah. question yeah. round. <laughs> Yay. Our Man on the Street will get our questions first, and then I will ask my panel of experts their weekly question. I'm ready. Hello, everybody. Bryce Bizzle McKnight, man on the street time. Question round. I am here in front of Flagler College with Luke. Luke has agreed to answer five questions. Thank you very much. Say hello, Luke. Hello, Luke. Luke is a very good sport. Thank you very much for agreeing to do this, Luke. Uh, my first question, these are going to be who, what, where, when, and how questions. The first one is a who question. And uh, I asked my panel of experts earlier, who is the best female race car driver of all time? You got anybody in mind? The only one I know is Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick, we will take it. Five points. I'm just going to give you five points for that because you're so quick. We always start with the who question. And this question this week it's goes to... Stupid question. I'm sorry, God. It's just probably. Like Justin knows. Red Dog McKnight. Justin, your question is... Who is the greatest female race car driver of all time? I love this question. I do, too, because I want to know what you know. So, uh, Mary Jane claims it's her. I love that. Okay. I well, love we'll that. We'll test that I, later. I would like I'll let to you drive that. my car. Yeah, I would like to see this. I love women that race. I do, so, too. Got into it. Um, a lot of people obviously think Danica Patrick. Um, Luke said I might eat the mic, dude. A lot of people, I'm not telling I'm trying you to. Okay, but okay, move the mic wrong. with you. Um, a lot of people, you, uh, you know, think what Danica Patrick would be um, number one. She is actually considered to be the number one NASCAR race race car driver of all Female. time. Female. Female, correct. Um, NASCAR, really? However, she's on the list of number four. <laughs> Did she win a, uh, a cup? Never. Never. Okay. She, she'd never won a, won a race. Right, correct. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, so she's, she's, she's my not list. the greatest. She's number four. <laughs> Um, there's a list, of course. Um, I won't get into it too much. Um, some of these names you might have heard of. Joanna Long, Tammy Jo Kirk oh, um, was a motorcycle uh, racer. I said race uh, car driver. Ethel but, Mobley. Okay. Shauna Robinson, pro star, stock car driver. Patty Moyes, NASCAR. Sarah Christian was number two. She's the first woman of NASCAR. Okay. When did she start? Uh, didn't get the date on that. Was right. more into the number one. Fine. And that is Janet Guthrie. Janet Guthrie is considered to be Are the... Are these all NASCAR drivers? She's actually Indy 500, Daytona 500. Oh, that's right. She Please did tell both. me yeah. you have a rally car driver in there somewhere. Um, I don't know if I had a rally car. Oh, wait. Yes, I sure did. Um, it looks like uh, Joanna Long was the winner of the 2010 Snowball Derby, which I believe was a... Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, she was the first woman to qualify and compete in both Indy and Daytona 500. Okay. Janet Guthrie. She was born in Iowa City, Iowa. Um, and, yeah, first attempted the Indy 500 in 1976, which happens okay. to be your birth year, which was kind of cool All and right. interesting, and I got into it. Mm, but, uh, yeah, like number Sh one. Three. Shirley, three points. Shirley Muldowney. Yeah. The yeah, Shirley Muldowney yeah. I was looking for. She was yeah. a very good yeah. uh, drag racer. Yep. And uh, John Force's daughter. I forget her name. Shirley Force? No. Shelly Force? No. Oh, Charlie man, I Force. hate myself. What's her name? Oh. Ch Charlene Force. No, but Little she's, Force. she's smoking hot. Yeah, Smoky Force. And she is. She's, I'm gonna she's give a you champion. The, I'm going to give you the correct answer. <clears throat> Mary Jane Whatever Force. happened to uh, Fisher? I'll ask the questions. I don't know. Who's Fisher? She was a young race car driver, got started, and then just kind of disappeared. I mean, young, young. Fact check. Like this. 16 Roger years old or something? Roger loves a lifetime fact check. No, I gotta, I, fact check. I gotta figure out this chick's, the <laughs> Force's daughter's name. Stacy. No. Just say, hey, no. Siri. The, the correct answer is Sabine Schmidt. She is also known as the, oh, man. the Queen of the Ring. And we will get hey, into Siri. what that yeah, ring is when we get into Kevin's question. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. 
Okay. And moving on. <laughs> Thank you. Are you Female are you race car driver. Race car driver. Janet Guthrie. Janet Guthrie, that's your answer. Okay. They, I mean, they. she said that they, she can competed in so, like, she won so many different races and different classic cars. Yeah, exactly. Good job, you know, dude. She just really, you know, really I'm giving you three more to what? Than, I'm giving ten? you 13 points. Thank you. I'll give you an extra 10. Yay. All right. A- um, Adria Height. Adria Height. Yeah. Is that the young lady that. 16 time you know. NHRA funny car champion and 21 time champion car owner. That's some serious guts driving yeah. a wow. freaking funny car, dude. Yeah. Is. Absolutely. All right, uh, Kevin, that brings us to your question. Man on the street answers first, as per usual. The next question is what? The what question is, what is also known as the green hell? Hint, it's also race car related. Uh, well, it's a flag, I know. Okay, it's a flag. What is it like? Third to last lap, I have no idea. I'll ask the questions. That's a very good answer. I'll take it. And your question this week is, what is also known as the green hell? So oh. I, I had to do some research on this. As per use. As per use. And I found two green hells. Oh. One, both of them probably could, you know, relate to you. I don't, I don't know how well the first one would, but it's considered a open world survival simulator set in the Amazon rainforest, so it's a game. Okay. I don't know if you can do it on the binoculars thing. I don't know if it works that way. Yeah. But, um, no, I'm kidding. But, you know, uh, you wanna... He's answering. So, yeah, so <laughs> that's the first green hell, but I kind of figured that was not what you were looking for. I'm looking for because, what's green hell. Because um, tucked away in the forests of western Germany ah. is this little tiny town called Nuremberg. 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 I, Nuremberg. Yeah. Mm. And they've got their Nuremberg. own really twisty, out of the blue, used road that they turned into a racetrack. <clears throat> it's and a loop. Yeah, there, uh. it's it's uh, it was built in the twenties, late twenties, and it consists of two circuits. There's an upper loop and a, or a northern loop and a southern loop, and it was designed originally to showcase German motorsport engineering. Yes, so, which is fantastic. Did it come out? They were. 1927. Yeah. It always and, works. Oh. And uh, so anyway, uh, the interesting thing about it was back in before the 1971 changes that they had to make to the road, uh, the whole track had about 174 bends in it. It was out yeah. in the middle of the country. Not one of them smooth or straight or flat. Or, no. And Is that about a thousand. Put the Jewish people so they could. I'm sorry. That was about a thousand uh, too, too feet soon. elevation yeah. changes mm-hmm. in one lap, and it all, and it can be like raining in the half of the track and dry right. in the other half. Right, it's really since, strange. Since it's around this mountain called the Eiffel Mountain in Germany, um, um, I want to say I after very good. fast track, yeah, very fast frightening, track. Yeah. and this is There's, what like all the car manufacturers when they're building sports cars now the latest fad is how fast does it go yeah. around the Nuremberg range? Yeah, yeah, it's a test track now for BMW, I was gonna ask Porsche, what kind of and AMG. It's and G- got pretty much every type of turn you'll ever encounter, every type of straightaway, kind of every like type of you all would do IMSA or whatever. Yeah, kind of, okay, yeah, yeah. So they very they bumpy. figured that that because of that after World War II. Um, <clears throat> because the cars were being developed at a faster rate than what this road could take, uh, it was becoming extremely dangerous. Mm -hmm. So they had to do a lot of changing. And as a matter of fact, Sir Jackie Stewart is the one that named it. Thank you very much, Kevin. uh, Because of his rain soaked foggy victory in 1968. So, but you can still use it today. As a matter of fact, the public is allowed to use this. You can get mm-hmm. a race car, you can drive it, but you have to follow the road. Which brings the road me. rules. Yes. So you can't like you're not supposed to like Audubon the thing. You're supposed to follow the street signs or road rules. They do. And all the they speeds. do track days of mm-hmm. the ring, and they close it down or whatever, and it's right. specifically specifically for this. And you can take whatever car you want. You take a fucking moped around it if you want. Uh, and that brings us to Sabine Schmidt. March to November is when they let it open. For yes, people. thank you. Yeah. And uh, you could pay her. She was known as the Queen of the Ring, and you could pay her a hundred euros, and she'd take you on a lap in a BMW M5. Wow. Yeah, called Tourist Drives. Thank you. Or something like that. And uh, you can watch her in Top Gear did an episode where Jeremy Clarkson went around, and he wanted to break ten minutes in a Volvo wagon, and he barely did it. And Sabine Schmidt said, "I can do that in a fucking cargo van." 
<laughs> and so they got one of these big ass cargo vans like you rent from fucking U-Haul and they emptied it out and she went around in less than 10 minutes in a fucking van. She's oh, passing wow. people in one of those things. Dri there's people driving Porsche turbos as fast as they can and here she comes in this huge van nice. like they're standing still. It's a pretty cool video if you want to check it out. Yeah, but yeah good, they, they, good work, they Kevin. Say, um, they say that, uh, it's an endurance grand. race that they can have. It's a 24-hour endurance race. <gasps> yes. And uh, people can hang out by the side of the road, yep. watch, Grand drink beer. They used to race Formula One there. <gasps> Nicky Lauda mm -hmm. famously crashed and burned. That's how he got game. burned. Is yeah. Yeah. Based yeah. on a true Grand story, Turismo. right? Yes. Gran Turismo? Based on we're having two different conversations at the same time. What do you guys... I mean, we, we were talking about fast cars. Yeah. Yes. So I had to hurry up and do some research. Nicely done. That's what experts do. Yeah. Right. Welcome, Grand welcome to Turismo? The show. Yeah. What it's is based that? on a oh, true Turismo. story. Isn't it? This really is Turismo. Good. That's a game. Right? Yeah. So it used to be a game, yeah. but they turned it into a movie. Grand Turismo. What, what happened Roger, was, is Roger, Nissan. Don't, don't look it up. Don't, it's on Netflix. I believe it was uh, uh, Nismo okay. or one of the companies had yeah, a, uh, the through PlayStation country. 4 had a contest. contest. If you won the PlayStation 4 video game Gran Turismo, it was a car racing game, then you got a chance to compete to drive that car in real life. True And that's what this movie is about. And these guys get good. Yeah, I'm not in. And okay. these guys are no, good. No, no, that's no, no. It's, it's actually it's, it's a good, good. It's a good movie. It's really it's a good movie. I'm it's telling you. It's good. Yeah. All right. But I just said that because we were I'll talking about that cars. Smells really cars. Good. What Our, that? I'll ask the question. We're losing control in here. Yes. Our next question. <laughs> Triple Berry Do Ice goes to Triple Berry Do Ice. RMFJ. Yes. Man on the street first yep. gets this oh. question. It's where. The next question is where, and that is where is Atlantis? It's underwater. It's underwater. It drowned. Hello. It sunk. And your question this week was, where is Atlantis? 3800 <laughs> South Virginia Street, Reno, Nevada. Really? Specifically? Yes, specifically. It's not in the middle of the ocean? No, no, that's, no. That would be the Atlantis Casino. 250 uh, points to RMFJ. Uh, but the story of Atlantis was uh, first mentioned by ancient Greek philosopher Plato Play in his writings. Play what? Um, Plato described Atlantis as a powerful and advanced civilization that existed around 9,000 years before his time. Here we go. Uh, and okay. he, he wrote this in 360 B.C., I mm. believe. Mm. Uh, according to uh, his so, writings, great. it's said to be located beyond the Pillars of Hercules. So Which I had, is? I had to look that up. <sighs> So it's the Strait of Gibraltar. And so then I had to look that up. Wow. And that's the bottom of Spain and the top of Africa. Yeah, been through there. And that takes me back to my beef. Okay. Because as I was looking that up, I wanted to have the money to go to the Strait of Gibraltar. And it see looks, it for yourself. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful place. But no, it's not going to, you know. I got to get an Oculus, yeah. a MetaQuest 3 first. Rock yeah. exactly. Gibraltar. Pulled in there. Fixed the garage door. Yeah, uh, yeah. but... Uh, Atlantis is bullshit. Uh, there's, there's, Whoa. yeah, what? there's never been evidence. Mythological. Yes, it's a myth. A mythological yeah. place. You're myth. calling Plato a liar. No, I'm calling Plato a fictionist. Maybe he was yeah. on DMT. A storyteller. A he fictionist. was probably on DMT. Yeah. Dirty mother trucker. But I've never really read a lot of Plato. You know, you hear about Plato and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into it. All right, well, all right. get back to us. All right. I like it. Greek they philosopher. Also said we'll move they on. They found a gar um, Garden of Eden too. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we huh? talked about that, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, right was what, was it an apple? Was it an apple? No. In this episode, which was I it forget. an apple? Oh, I can't remember that one. No, oh, was yeah. it a snake Between or the was the snake? No, they actually said they, they actually have an apple said mouth. that it was in Egypt, and it's like you you can't point out Between the find on a map an aerial view or anything like mythological. Well, in the Sinai Peninsula somewhere. Yeah, but. What is now desert used to be a lush, beautiful, you yeah. know, Florida. Jungle. Yeah. yeah, and now it's Florida. all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. St. Augustine. Yeah. Yeah. Moving yeah. onward, let's go to the one question. Man on street first. Next question is when? When did you first get drunk? Assuming you've gotten drunk before. I never have. Good for you. Stay sober, man. It's not worth it. I just quit drinking myself. I've been sober a year now. So, cool. Good for you for not trying. <laughs> it's not worth it. But we're going to have oh, our what? very new, brand new expert, Mary Jane the Babe Paul, answer. Mary Jane the Babe Paul, when did you first get drunk? Ooh. Ooh. Easy now. You have kids at home. Yep. Remember, the whole world sees we this. We can't edit. Well, well at I, least I 100 know. people. Yes, but we can edit. We we've, can we've had we a couple of stories that we've had yep. to... So uh, just unload. Unload on us. We'll deal with the aftermath later. 
Man, it was what my eleventh grade year. Okay. Wow. Seventeen. Late, late so, bloomer. Yeah. It was me and my best friend. I'm talking drunk, not like I get took a shot, she took a shot, and then that was well, it. Well, you asked but, the first time I got drunk, so yes. you have to be more specific. Like, For, drunk. Well, shit-faced it. Drunk. Just say shit-faced it. Okay. Okay. I like that term better. All right. We'll take it. 2013. Okay. God, and I, I don't know. Old. I said- uh, 2013? I know. You were still old. I said- <laughs> You I'm were getting old back then. I'm T- getting touche. carried at this fucking club tonight. Yes. Okay. So you had the intention of this. I, I I don't know. Fake ID or No, no, no. Just getting drinks. They no, like, we were bam. on the beach. Okay. And I I met up with some coworkers. Yeah, they're they're they in, a bad influence. Introduced <laughs> me to fucking fireball. Oh, oh no. Next thing I know, I'll the next day, I was getting my, my friend's car detailed. So. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. threw up back here. Man, I was it's fucked squishy. up. I think it took me like three days to get myself together. <laughs> okay. And that was 2013? Yeah. And did you say, I'm never doing this again? This was a mistake? Or did you like, I'll do it again? This you know how many times I said that? Yeah. Now haven't, when haven't I say we that, all? I mean it. As many as the rest of and, us. And yeah, this but, time, <laughs> I mean it. That yeah. makes me feel so I was old. fucked I know. I know. Me too. Up. Oh. I was so fucked up. It hurt. You can hardly remember stuff, huh? Mary Jane, how old are you? You know, ask questions. questions. You don't have to answer that one, by the way. Yeah, I mean, but how old are you? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Wow. All right, Wait, Roger. No, no, no. Roger, time don't out, pull up the calculator. Out, out, He's calculator. Roger so fact she was, checks in real time. She was twenty-nine here. the first time she got shit faced drunk. Well, wh- Dom? well, what you're not going to do is sit up here. <laughs> Watch out now. <laughs> ah, there you go. Like Watch it. out now. I'm gonna back Just up because a of bit. the first time I got shit faced, that I was 29. Yes. Okay. All right. I like it. Good for I you. Like it. I, made it, I made it to now what? 12. 12. I, so it, so I see where he went. He was still thinking the 17. I I know year old. he fact okay. checks everything. That's what I thought too. Been I, doing that's it for where years. I think they were going. I was with you. <laughs> yeah. He's an asshole. You. Just say it. Godly. Yeah. yeah. I seen it. All right. Okay. Our final question you is: Say the sky is blue. He's gonna Google it. <laughs> that, yes, he are will. You, are you sure? Currently, he's today, like, no. I'm technically, positive. it's clear, but it reflects off of the sun. And, <laughs> <laughs> all right. The final answer Great. is a how goes to man on the street. This is open round. I love how. Open round. Open round. It's how, and it is. <laughs> Last question is: How do you do what you do? To the best of my ability. Excellent answers. Thank you very much, Luke, for participating. Uh, you can see this episode probably four weeks from now, I say, on YouTube. Look for this symbol. I'll ask the questions. Bryce President McKnight. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, man. I really yeah, appreciate sure, it. Have a, sure. good day. Have a good day. <laughs> How do you do what you do? Oh, easy. Go. Like this. I just don't give a fuck. Good. Good. Yeah. Yep. 20 points. The hell is that? Okay, we'll edit that out. Yeah. All right, Kevin, how do you do uh, what you do? What I, do? Well, I just stand, but I don't stand like that. Sock shoe, sock shoe. Yeah. Roger, what do you? How do you do what you do, dude? You just grind it out every day. You just grind it out. You get up, you go, That's you sock answer. shoe it. Put your head down and, and then roll. you wake up yeah, tomorrow maybe. and you just you look forget, at you forget the smile. Start all over again. Silliness of yesterday and start again. All right. Heck yeah. I just ask God to make sure I got my vapes. I heard that. Dear Lord. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Lord, don't let me go without my vape. Yes, please. You can do anything for me today. <laughs> please, Lord. Fill my vapor pen. <laughs> please don't let Aaron call me or text me nothing stupid <laughs> at the last minute. The stupid hairs keep getting in my face. I got to stop this wick stuff. You, get, you got 16 and 14? No, man. Almost you know what? Mazel is 19 and Aaron is 17. Wow. wow. They were wow. little kids. when. Dude, how long have you been going from where we are? I'll ask questions. I miss you, Dom. <laughs> yeah, Dom used to work so with fun. RMFJ, oh, Kevin, man. and myself. And uh, yeah, we had fun at All work. All right, sorry. Not moving on. Anymore. We're going to move. Of no, going on. Ever the same. The next round is... That's my next beef. That would have been my beef. Ben- well, no, I let that Write it down out. for next time. Yeah. Yeah. Like story it. round. Do, do, story do, do, round. Do, do, do. My story is going to involve Red Dog when we were younger. And this took place around uh, Halloween, probably 1995, four, whatever. And uh, Roger, what were you doing in 95? Times were different then. I'll ask questions. 
and tell a story at the same time. <laughs> no, I'll just tell a story. And anyways, so we were at the mall at Sawgrass Mall in Miami. Just opened. It's one of the largest malls in Florida, if not the largest. You can get lost walking around all day. And we had bought costumes for Halloween because we were going to throw a big Halloween party. And it was epic, that Halloween party that year. My mom tried to bite a cop. She was dressed as a vampire. And the <laughs> cops, actual cop. cops came to the house a real and, cop. <laughs> and told us to keep the music down. And she thought they were in costume. And she tried to bite them. And she's like, where'd you get the cop car from? Cool. And she's like, ma'am, no, I'm a real cop. They locked the ass up. Huh? But they were so cool. They came in and had snacks yeah. and stuff. And 2013. Yeah. I should know. Yeah. So, but the story is, is like we had bought a, this costume. It was like a full clown costume with like a skull and weird nose and afro hair not that one Very and this similar, horn and it had the suit and shoes and everything and justin put it on I scary think. mask and this we was in, like a scary clown yeah we we're in the in the parking lot and i'm like justin i bet you can't go in the side of that <clears throat> van of those people's and come out the back because these people were like loading shit up from the mall and there's like a 15 year old kid who is with his mom <clears throat> and dad and they're loading up the stuff and justin's in full clown costume with this horn that you squeak and go hey like a really weird kind of mm -hmm. and i'm like go in the side door and walk out the back and he fucking did it <laughs> and the look on these people's face was like what just happened and he's like walking around squeaking this thing and he just goes in the side of the van walks out the back and the kid is laughing his ass off he's like what is this it, oh my god it was so funny oh that was epic Dude, my dad was like, I can't believe you just did that. Oh, that was, was epic. Like, yeah, yeah, that was fun. That was a pretty good story. That was Not good that one. good because they don't give a shit. That was fun. <laughs> All right. No, we heard great. It. We nice. laughed at each Thank you. So uh, next, Justin, what's your story? It actually has to do with us as well. Cool. Um, this might bring up a hard subject, but it's okay. Um, when I was like six or seven, when I was six or seven, I... Um, we had found these palmetto sticks, me and my brother. Oh, boy. And we decided to shave them down you know they had like little sharp things on them and whatnot and we shaved them down and we kind of carved the ends of them to fit into bike handles the bmx bikes you could take <laughs> okay. the rubber handles. like we made oh. swords out of them we made like swords. mad max kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so we made swords <clears throat> and my dad that morning found us messing around doing this and he's like give me those do not mess with these ever again he tried to snap them i think he snapped them in half threw them in the trash and we were like, okay, we won't do that. And we were like, as soon as he went to work, we were like, fuck that. We made another one. We might have made no, another one. And we were like, all right. Anyway, we get these swords and we're kind of messing around. And I kind of like hit him on the leg, my brother on the leg a little bit. And he goes to rear back like baseball swing. And he's like, like he's going to hit me. And he obviously wasn't going to try to hit me. And he goes like that, and he check swings, and the, palm the thing came out of it. Came out, out of, of the, the bike handle. handle and caught me right in my left eye. And came out of the bike handle. Yeah, yeah. So like we put it, like you know the rubber oh you bike. didn't you didn't put it in the bicycle. No, 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 no. no. Took no. it off the bike. rubber handle. Like a sword, you know? like swords. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. And I yeah. went like this to check it, and it came out, and and it went what, right in his it, eye, and it hit me right in the eye. And it, so uh, when you say palmetto, you know the short palm tree, the big palm fronds that come out. It's like a palm. It looks like a bush. You know the cabbage palms with the giant leaves yeah, yeah. on them? Yeah, and yeah. that's got a stem to the leaf? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, okay. The sword okay. okay. Yeah. All right, I got you. The stem yeah. of the palmetto yeah, leaf. There you oh, go. Yes. He doesn't explain things very well. You right. cut off the palms. Yeah. Right, right, right. We you. shaved right. them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shaved. Yeah, yeah. How do you shave? What? A oh, horrible brother. I know I am. <laughs> I am a horrible brother. Look what I've done so, to him. Episode six. Yeah, we literally it lacerated the top of my like, like head trauma. He called my mom. The funny thing is he called my mom. Six years old? Yeah, six or seven. Maybe a little older. Okay. My, call right. my mom. My mom Kevin, is. What's your story? <laughs> my mom is an ER nurse. Yeah. She's an ER nurse, and she, he calls her, and he, she's like, "He's fine. Put some ice on it. He'll be all right." And yeah. my brother's like, "No, this is bad." Stitch, He's like, "Stitches." Oh he yeah, had to have surgery. Oh yeah, emergency surgery. surgery. Yeah. Detach retina that they couldn't. Oh fix. really? Oh, I'm blind. Yeah, I'm his eyes 90, effed up. Ninety percent blind in my life. Wow. Yeah, the horrible Damn. accident. Jeez. <laughs> and expensive as shit. Yeah. Oh my mom. I'd have beat the shit mom, out of you too. My mom, you motherfuckers. <laughs> my mom and dad came yeah, home. Right. They were scared at first because my mom came home. She's like, "How bad can it be?" She comes in. She's like, "Holy shit!" She ra they raced me into the emergency room. I'm throwing up the hallway because it's head trauma, you know. And and I get there and. They tried to rush me in emergency surgery, and they had the best eye doctor in the area and come in, and because my mom was a nurse, she could call whoever, and it just they did the whatever. That's a do. happy story. And the crazy yeah. thing is, they, well, I'm glad they saved your sight. Well, All the right. crazy Anyways. thing is, well, that's the funny thing. Nowadays, a detached retina is an easy fix. It's happened to oh. JJ Watt. 
during like football, you get scratched in the those. It'll like speaking yeah. of John Force, I think he's yeah. got a detached. Yeah, I think I detached retinas figured yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. total Crazy. knees, hips, detached retinas. Yeah. 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 Kevin, what's your story? Kevin, what's um, your story? So my oh, story goes all the way back to college. I did oh. one year of school and didn't make it Where to a second Ohio? Ohio University. Okay, and oh, Ohio University is in uh, Athens, Ohio. And I was living in Westlake, Ohio, which is up by Cleveland. So it was about a four-hour drive. Oh, wow. So right. I, my first car I ever had was a 1975, it's 1979 Ford Mustang. Yeah, it was. First year of the liftbacks. Six-cylinder, single-barrel carburetor, okay. automatic. Had the coolest rims on it, Krager Supersport rims. Nice. nice. And uh, so I had it down at school for the last couple of months, and we were coming back. So a friend of mine and I were driving my car back. We were going to go to his place. And I was going to drop him off. So we got kind of a later start in the evening. And I'm driving <clears> back, <throat> and we're out in the middle of nowhere, Ohio. And I, it's starting to get dark. And I'm thinking that I've got issues with my eyes because I'm starting to have trouble seeing the lights on the dashboard. And I, I don't know why. Mm. So then it starts to mist a little bit. So I th- throw on the uh, windshield wipers, and the whole car starts to slow down. And I'm oh. like, oh, oh, this isn't good. So I had to turn the windshield wipers back off. had to turn the lights off and find the nearest <coughs> station of gas stations that actually had mechanics in them in those days. Mm-hmm. And did. The guy hooked me up. He's thinking, oh, it's just an alternator. We'll get you all taken care of. Maybe your battery's dying. Yeah, your battery's dead. Let me go ahead. And so he hooked me up, got me a whole charge, continue on my way. And same thing happens again. Everything starts going bad. The car starts slowing down. Mm-hmm. I'm getting really scared. I was like, we're going to my house. And because I have no idea how to get off the highway to get to your house, because mm-hmm. it's probably off back roads. Mine's right off the highway. Go all the way up into Cleveland and just get off the on-ramp or the exit ramp, and i got to make a hard left-hand turn to go across the bridge and down the street. And I was like, guy's name is Walt. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Walt, we're going to have to turn around, and we're going to have to fucking get out and push this car if I slow down too fast. And that's what happened. We couldn't make it over the bridge. Oh, boy. Just then, a cop comes up. He bumped me all the way back to our house. Okay. And I guess they had a city ordinance in Westlake that you're not allowed to have your car in the street. But he said, I'm just going to write this up. You're not going to get in trouble, but you need to get this car out of here by tomorrow. So... Okay. Anyway, yeah, car trouble. Yeah. yeah, that was horrible. Good horrible. job. Seventy nine Ford. There you go. Yeah, fix a repair Mustang. daily. Yeah. Found on road dead. Ah, love that car. Love Damn, that car. I'm but so high. I I literally like thought like you'll get your turn. <laughs> his story was going to end with him like losing his sight or something. <laughs> I know usually it's Roger yeah, Downer what Hour. The fuck? Uh, so, Roger, tell us your story. Hopefully, it's uh, better than these two. It wasn't bad. No, no story because wasn't literally, bad. that moment, so literally, <laughs> I need this car right now. I was scared to death we were getting stuck in the middle of nowhere. That's but terrible, that's right. Kevin. That's awful. Roger, wake yeah, me up. Minus 10 okay. points. Okay, uh, EMS story. Yeah, okay. Uh, I've, 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 I've heard, literally heard this. Almost. Probably. Probably. Uh, this uh, uh, at the Oklahoma City bombing. They had the bomb squad out with their dogs looking for. That's not related. It's outside, but okay. there's bombs. no bomb here. I anyway, hope. okay. I was like, here so the bomb squad's got their dogs out there sniffing for bombs and whatever shit. Uh, and they ha- it's German Shepherd comes across a manila envelope, sniffs it, has a seizure, falls over, whatever. So they call out <sighs> the bomb squad. They're like, oh, okay. So they call us. To watch the bomb squad guys put on all their bomb squad shit, <laughs> okay. so we know how to get it off. Oh right! In yeah, case was, they yeah, get exploded. Yeah, it was very cool. So we got to go on the scene, and they watched them go and get this vanilla envelope. <laughs> and, and literally, I, it was a vanilla envelope. Oh, nothing. That's no, it. Nothing. Yeah, I was well, like, the dog just so, so happened to have hell? a seizure. Just, just so happened wow. that this dog just bad timing. Yeah, at that time had a seizure. Oh my god. Yeah, and, but these guys get so the pumped up over that dog. shit <laughs> that. Oh, you know, with this scoop, it's a fucking vanilla envelope. How big can a bomb be? Vanilla or right. Manila? It's, Manila. Uh, are you is saying Manila? Va- Manila. 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 I thought Manila. you were saying vanilla. My I don't bad. think they flavor envelopes. Maybe yeah. that's why the dog. Maybe vanilla? the dog was allergic to vanilla. Anyway, or the the licking yeah. stuff. You know. Point is, it was George a <laughs> simple single envelope. The dog had a seizure and it called it caused a big shit ruckus. storm because of the. But it was bomb cool. Dog. So I got to go in with the bomb squad, see how they put all their shit on. Cool. Because you can't cut that shit off with yeah. the shears. You got to know. Oh. So you this Velcro this goes first. Tab A. You got to get out. these snaps. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. It was very, all right. So my story wasn't much better. Was, Dom, what do you I think? like it. it Dom, was, it you was gotta, quicker. Dom, what's your story? I think she's got a good one. Mary Jane, the babe, Paul. What is your story? My story is. 
I came, I saw, I forgot <laughs> what I was doing. All right. I retraced my steps, got distracted again. Oh. I don't know where, which one after each story. Okay. Still trying to find my way back. Right. I have no idea what's going on. All right. At, at least you got a cell phone case. No. True. <laughs> and your child's I phone. The, I right. got the fucking pee. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, there's only old people get to do that. That's right. You can't leave yet. Yeah. You still got pee another pee your pants round cool. or two. <laughs> All right. Good story. Thank you very much. Right. Good, good debut story on that one reading off of the coaster I gave you. <laughs> no, Consider me Miles like... Davis. Let's see. What is, what is my co- here's my story. Oh, yeah. I've reached that age where my brain goes from, you probably shouldn't say that, to what the hell. Let's see what happens. Roger, read your coaster story. I don't have one. Ah, Why shit. Get me that one. Go. Right. Somebody. I'm going. Go. No, 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 no. It's my All turn. Right. Listen. Put your glasses on. I'm listening. If drunk me said or did something, you got to take it up with drunk me. Wow. Don't come at me sober because we weren't there. We don't know what happened. Boom. Justin. The okay. officer said, you drinking? I said, you buying? We just laughed and laughed. I need bail money. Kevin. There you go. Me at work. I don't think I get enough credit for the fact that I do all this shit sober. Ain't that, a tr- ain't that the truth, though? It is the truth. <laughs> all those are very <laughs> inspiring. I hate doing surgery sober. I wish I could do a great Jack Nicholson. I think you can. Right. No, I, think I, think I, if I can get the... Listen, if drunk me said, you know, that's yeah. about... To, I can't do it. I'm going to have to go over practice. Hey, Try one. Breakfast, breakfast, 500 yeah. yards. Yeah. Yeah. 500 yards. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right. Let that brings us to... Questions from the kitchen. Ding, ding, da, ding, ding. And those questions this week come to us from Chef Cletus. Chef, I don't know. It's Justin telling me there's a Chef Cletus. I there's believe not. Him. There is a Chef Cletus. We're not a, where chef, you work? Yes. Chef really? Cletus wants to know. Huh? No, yes. This is a. This Malik. Is, a uh, this is his real name. Malik? Malik is his first name. This is Malik, a speed Malik, round. And his last name is Cletus? No, we just call him Cletus because he looks like... Um, have you ever seen... Uh, well, Malik sounds good. You know, Malik sounds... Like, have you ever Cletus seen... Cletus sounds like some fucking idiot. Have you ever seen Cletus the law? does sound stupid. Have you ever yeah. seen it's not the a law? smart name. Have you ever seen... Well, who, what was that show with Cletus? Uh, That's what he's trying to think of. Ice Age. No, have you ever seen Ice Age? No. Yes. No. You know Sid? The little... Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. the little character. That's what he looks like. Okay. He looks like a... Anyways, <laughs> Chef Cletus, the guy who looks like that, would like to know... And when you know these, just shout them out. It's the speed round. Do beans belong in chili? No. 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 We're saying no. I'm next, saying yeah. Okay. okay. Dom right. likes them. The so next it's one. Depending on where you live, maybe. Like where you're. Where yeah. is Remy today? Who oh, Remy Ma, the rapper? Where is he? Where oh, is he? Remy today? Her. Her. Or is it I Remy? Know, I obviously from don't know who the Remy is. Or are you talking is. about liquor? Because it's on. Or is it Remy from Ratatouille? I just need to know where. Where is Remy today? Where is Remy today? Champagne. I'll ask a question. Where is Remy today? Nobody knows. Where is Remy Ma today? If New York. New York. New York. New York. Got it. <laughs> Next question from Chef York. Cletus wants to know: How did Bobby Flay get his grills? He fucking has them donated to him every time. He doesn't pay I for shit imagine. at this point. Grills? I would imagine. Whoever wants to sell grills gives it to Bobby Flay. So, oh. all right, there's your answer. Food right. Network. Food Network. Yeah. Oh, network. Food Network. Oh. The chef. The final question from Chef Cletus. Thank you, Chef Cletus, for watching and subscribing and asking these questions. When do you noodle your lasagna? And and that man wrote them. He, he yeah. came up with them questions? That's what he says. And his name Malik. Yeah. And he looked like <laughs> Cletus. Mary Jane doesn't think this is a real Malik cl- question. It not for a guy named Malik. He well, shouldn't meet him. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't go. So we're not going to answer. Yeah, look up Ice Age. Malik. Look up Sid from Ice Age, and you'll know what. All right, that's, right. that's it like, for oh. that. Wait, what was the question? When do I noodle my needle? Yeah, your lasagna. Who cares? <laughs> when do I noodle my lasagna? <laughs> At the beginning. And in, in the, in the beginning. Or sauce noodle sure. cheese sauce meat. Noodle cheese meat. Thank or you. sauce no- or noodle sauce cheese meat. I don't the know. Final on that note, I'm going to end the show. Out there, obviously. Thank I'm you, everybody, for watching this far. The one person, Mary C., who's still watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Thanks to our illustrious panel of experts. Our newest expert, Mary Jane Paul, Thank you, Mary the babe. Paul. Thank you. The babe. Thank our you expert producer, sound man, Fernando. One. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. To all of you Thank in you, the man. world, wherever and whenever you are. Thank you. I'm Bryce Postman. Matt, goodbye. My cherry coat tastes like Twizzler. It's supposed to. It tastes like what? Like a twist. That's why you, 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 you,